But if we do a little count, here's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I have a full surround sound setup based on that TV for analog. I have a full surround sound setup LIN. Hey everybody, Arjofal Barista here. As you can see, I am busy working in my little room downstairs, the music room, where I have a lot of equipment. And if I look, if I step to the side over here, I pulled out this big rack from the corner so I can do some cable management and reconnect stuff because I had an idea and you know it starts with an idea you think well I'll be busy 30 sec 30 minutes and then three hours later you have redone everything so what's going on well this for those of you who do not follow my channel this is my little music room it is a little room and it is filled with all kind of stuff that you just pick up when this hobby being an audiophile I've done this for 40 years so you pick up stuff for example a lot of audio equipment that is not being placed in the big system upstairs but it is all down here now electronics needs to be played you cannot have a classic like this and then just leave it on the shelf for three years without using it so everything in this room I want to be able to have it connected and to have it played and all at once if possible not meaning all the sources at once but that everything is just connected and not that I have to pull out one thing connect it power RCA pull it out again put something else in no I want everything to be connected but if we do a little count here's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two and there's more in here so I'm always on the lookout of ways to connect more pieces of equipment to the stuff that I already have. And two pieces of equipment that I have are essential in being able to connect as many pieces as possible. One, this preamp, the LIN collector, that can accommodate 10 different sources. But as you just saw, I run out of space in no time on this thing. And there is this one. This is a quad CD player. It is from this series, but I am just using the CD player. So previously on this spot, there was this thing, which is the Denefrips Iris 2. And that is what was connected over here and I had some digital sources going in there. Now this is a CD player. Now this is not only a CD player, this is also a preamp. So it has two analog outputs, one fixed, one variable. Now for the fixed, meaning volume is fixed on this thing, so you need something like a preamp with a volume control to play it or when you connect it variable, then you can use this one to adjust the volume. So it is a CD player and it is a preamp, but it also has a digital input. There's a DA converter inside and not many CD players. Here's my wonderful Arcom that I have had for, well, since it came out, I don't know, 20 years. This thing has digital outputs, but no digital inputs. Not many CD players have, but this wonderful machine, CD player preamp, has six digital inputs, three optical and three coaxial. So this means that I can connect an SACD player 
CD player, DVD player, CD player, streamer. I can connect even two more. I can connect all those to my one CD player and then have only one analog connection to this preamp leaving the other nine spots open. So I changed this. This means I had to reconnect everything, change the cabling a little bit. And if you count them with the 10 inputs on the LIN and the six digital inputs on the quad, I can connect up to 16, well actually 15, because this CD player is of course taking up one spot on the preamp. But then again, this is also a CD player and I can use it as a CD player. So let's say I can connect up to 16 different devices to just this one preamplifier. So what have I connected for this moment on the quad? Well, this is a CD player. Now this is now connected with a digital cable to the quad and analog to the preamp because the SAC the signal the SACD signal does not go via digital. So then you would think that this Nakamichi CD player would be connected, but this is a this is a CD player that does not have an optical digital or coaxial output. Zero, only analog. Now this DVD player has a digital output, so that one is connected. Over here we have the Blue Sound streamer, so that has a digital output connected to the CD player. And then we have this CD player, which is digitally connected to the CD player. Now why a DVD player? Well, you can see the TV over there. And I have a lot of, let me look over here, a lot of music, DVDs, live performances, all kind of other stuff that is based on music. So those are DVDs, they don't go into a CD player, so I can put them in the DVD player, but then of course you have to navigate the menu, so that's where the TV comes in. And the aim for this DVD player is to have it play the stereo set on my loudspeakers, the stereo signal on my loudspeakers. So here you can see a little bit about the cable management, which is much better than it was this morning because this analog cable is not connected anymore. This does not have an analog connection anymore. This does not have an analog connection anymore. And that means that there is three spots that were freed on the LIN preamplifier. So give me a second to put everything on its place again and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so the rack is back on its spot. Loudspeakers are back on their spot. There you see the rack. And over here you can see what I was talking about. But because the SCART cable, the SCART going from there to the DVD player is too short for when it was all the way forward. But now I can connect it. So now I have just put in a DVD, one that I found recently in the thrift store, I believe 125, and Roger Waters, The Wall. And what I can do now is to go to the audio section and, well, let me, let me just do that. Go to the, oh, I have to, of course, uh, 
do it over there. So it shows the audio section. And then it will give you the audio section and you can choose stereo, Dolby surround, DTS surround. Now for this setup, I'm choosing stereo. I have a full, for those of you who don't know my channel, in this room, apart from everything that I showed you, I have a full one center right back surround, another back surround over there. So I have a full surround sound setup based on that TV for analog. And I have, let me put this aside, I have a full surround sound setup LIN, so left, center, right. Normally these are over there, but I have these two as back surrounds. So a full surround sound 5.1 for analog and a full surround sound 5.1 for digital sources. And then I have this stereo setup. So there is a crazy amount of equipment in this small little room. And by help of an amazing preamp, a CD player with six digital inputs, I can basically connect everything that I want. I can play the stereo sound from my DVDs. I can also use this one to play, to play DVDs in full surround or go a, big, a step bigger and play it over there. And then we are using these Marantz AV receiver and Blu-ray player. So there's plenty of possibilities. But the main thing, and that's how I'm going to conclude this video, the main thing was I need to have as much stuff as possible connected and everything needs to be addressed so I can play it. And that's what I'm doing here. Oh, one more thing, something else that is very special about this LIN collector preamp, apart from the 10 inputs. By the way, one input can be a turntable but if you don't have a turntable you can use change that input to be adjust for an analog source ingenious and normally a preamp needs to have a power amp output most have all preamps have that so there's a power amp over there this lin also has a second one to connect this other LIN power amplifier, but this LIN preamp even has a third preamp output. And that preamp output goes over here into my Stux headphone amplifier. And that means that everything that is connected to the LIN preamp, I can play via my Stax electrostatic headphones. Oh. One more thing, um, over here, some cable. This is LIN loudspeaker cable. And some time ago I picked up two of those. Watch this. This is about eight meters and I had two of those. So one of them I cut into two. So a shorter connection to the LIN preamp for the left speaker and a longer one for the right speaker. Now I just put everything back together and here you can see that I can even make this cable a little bit shorter and reduce the cable management on the floor a little bit, the cable spaghetti. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I am going to enjoy this setup and I'm wishing you a very nice weekend. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. I don't want you